Seven days from today is one of the biggest food holidays for me, which is Halloween. Uh, you know, you give away candy to the kids and you keep some for yourself. And also seven days from today is the day we drop the documentary me and Mike Klum made together. And today I have a clip related to food from that documentary for you. Now you've heard me say a million times that I've never been somebody that eats to live, you know, eats the nutrition and calories that I need to stay alive. I've always been somebody that ate to die. Not a great thing to do with your body, by the way. Don't do that. My relationship with food is complicated and Mike did a really good job of capturing that here in this clip. So enjoy the clip. I hope you learn a little bit about me uh, the way my brain works. I hope you learn a little bit about yourself and I hope it can make your life better. And if you enjoy this clip, uh, link to the premiere in the description box below. Enjoy. I live my life in a constant state of denial. I talked about this in therapy the other day. Like imagine you were drowning, but you've been drowning a really long time. So you pretend you're not. And every once in a while, when you see these mental health breakdowns on live stream, when you see these mental health breakdowns on Twitter, it's because I am become acutely aware of the fact that I'm fucking drowning. And it's scary and it's shitty. And I know I am fighting a compulsive urge. I know I'm fighting an addiction. I know I'm fighting against time. I know I'm fighting against the fucking internet. I know I'm fighting against all of these things and I'm losing. So I try to slip my ass back in denial as quickly as I can so that I don't blow my fucking brains out. <laughs> And if one of the ways I can stay in denial is by stopping by and getting Taco Bell tonight on the way home. I guess I'm eating Taco Bell. Bro, did you just say you don't enjoy chicken food to eat? I'm kind of enjoying one thing about it right now and it's super fucked up. Do you want to know what the one thing I'm enjoying about it is? Yeah. That it's so bad for me. Like, this is what a 400 pound guy does. We eat shitty food, right? I try not to show you that. I try not to put it on my videos. I try not to post it on my vlogs. But sometimes we eat shitty food. That's how we're 400 pounds. Of course that's what's happening. Yeah, man, food is, how do you not think about food? Look at us right now, we're passing five restaurants, okay? There's food at that gas station. TJ's got great subs, great ice cream. Two Chalupas, Supremes, a couple of Doritos Locos tacos, and then little cinnamon balls for the dessert. Oh, God, I would eat that in a day. I'm feeling self-destructive, and maybe sometimes I would have taken that out on Twitter. And sometimes I would have taken that out on fucking, when I was a kid, self-harm. So you like the fact that this, this Taco Bell is making me sad. Mm, more than that, it's making me sick. Three little uh, rice cakes, the caramel rice cake things. Give me a nice baked potato, a little bit of butter, a giant slab, 12 ounces of roast beef. I will try your fish tacos. Love, 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 love sugar. I will eat sugar from the moment I wake up to the moment I go to bed. I know I'm gonna pay for this later, right? I'm gonna end up with diarrhea in the morning, I'm gonna end up with a stomach ache tonight. Explain that one. Because I have no fucking clue. Do I have any delusions that I'm going to get healthier and I'm going to beat this fucking polycythemia shit? No. That shit's going to kill me. Like, I, it's incurable. It's barely manageable. I'm going to have a stroke or heart attack because I'm aware. Like, I, when I'm on my deathbed, the biggest regret I, ha I will ever have is knowing that I had a job that every person in the world would fucking kill for me. And I fucked it. That shit keeps me up in there. That shit drives me to drink, if I'm being honest with you. 